looks like Tiana has calmed down. Shana explained everything to me, Shifu. You were just looking out for me. Like you always do, Shifu. She blushes and looks down at her feet. Anyway, let's get back on topic. Yes, let's go over everything that we know so far. We have suggest as to what the most beautiful eye in the world could be. The black cat. But the reader also says it won't happen until the day of the crimson moon's glow. What could that possibly mean? It looks like a full moon tonight. But can the moon ever turn crimson? During an eclipse, if the conditions are right. When is the next lunar eclipse? On average, a total lunar eclipse occurs once every two and a half years. That's oddly specific. We actually just had a lunar eclipse about three months ago. Don't you guys remember? It was on the news. Well, since a lunar eclipse happened a few months ago, I guess we can rule that out. And most thieves won't announce a grand scheme two years in advance. Who's to say that the black cat would even still be here in the museum in two years? We have got to be missing something about the crimson moon. I feel like the word crimson is important. They specifically chose not to call it red. Well, there's a difference between red and crimson. For example, Tiana, I would say the stone in your necklace is crimson. Huh? You mean this? Tiana slides her golden necklace off her neck to show off the shimmering ruby hanging down from it. My grandmother gave this to me when I was a child. It's my birthstone, the ruby. You were born in July? Yeah, my birthday is next week actually. Oh, happy early birthday, Tiana. So if the ruby is the birthstone for July, then we can associate the color crimson with the month of July. I suppose that is true. And you say the moon looked like it was glowing tonight. What are you getting at, Shifu? Maybe the answer to the riddle was right in front of us the whole time. What do you think the answer is? I think the answer to the riddle is um, the crimson moon means the moon on Halloween, definitely. <laughs> well, this may be a shot in the dark, but I think the crimson moon have something to do with Halloween. Halloween? What? I mean, crimson is the color of blood, and blood is associated with Halloween. Nothing else points to that being the answer though. Shana steps forward. Anyway, would you like to hear my guess? I believe the crimson moon means the full moon in July. Rubies are associated with the month of July. But isn't tonight a full moon in July? And the full moon was so big and vibrant tonight, almost as if it were glowing. Yeah, that has got to be it. It looks like we have solved the puzzle. Now that we know that the theft is happening tonight, we need a plan. We can't let the thief steal the black cat. You keep saying thief like we don't know who it is already. It's obviously Shifu's uncle. What do you think we should do? You are the police officer here, Rina. Just arrest him already. You have got handcuffs on you, right? I can't just arrest someone without a cause, you know. I could lose my job over that. Are you kidding me? Security here won't take us seriously until we find some evidence pointing straight to him. Not a second later, loud footsteps come stomping down the hallway. Shivu, Shivu, where are you? Shivu, come quick. Something terrible has happened. I then see Uncle Joji sprinting around the corner towards us. When he reaches us, he has to stop and catch his breath as sweat pours down from his forehead. Shivu, it's terrible. The black cat, it's gone. What? Come on. He leads us back to the exhibit. The glass case that has once been holding it now, it's empty. It's really gone. Of course it's gone. This creep obviously snatched it up when we weren't looking. What? You think I stole it? Who else could it have been? You and Yuina are the only one in here, you know. She's right. But how did you manage to get into the case? Do you have a key? 
Stop accusing me. I know who took it. Who? It was Yuina. Hmm, interesting. Yuina steal the, the black cat? Nah, I don't believe that shit. <laughs> what? I left her side for just a moment to take a call. And when I returned, I saw the black cat was missing. And Yuina was nowhere to be seen. I believe she wanted to take my family's fortune for herself. This raised a red flag. <laughs> I don't believe what Uncle Joji said. So she staged the whole thing and took it all for herself. You can't expect me to believe my sister is a crook. You have done nothing but lie since we met you. Why would we even believe you now? Let's all calm down and just think for a moment. Joji-san, where do you think Yuina could have been? She probably tries to sneak out the back. This museum has an employee exit downstairs. And how do you know that? Yeah, I'm wondering how this guy knows the uh, geography of this building so accurately. I told you, I'm friend with the manager. Let's not waste any time and head there now. Follow me. Okay, sure. This place is creepy. We follow my uncle down the hallway until he leads us to the basement. The back entrance is just through here. Okay. He leads us down the stairs and towards a large metal door. It looks like some kind of a safe or even a vault. The exit is just through here. Alright. What? <laughs> he opened a large metal door, but I can't see anything through the darkness. It's pitch black inside. Is this really an employee's exit? Before I can finish my sentence, I feel a rough hand shove me forward. Okay, things are bad with the music. <laughs> like this. I trip over my feet and crash against Rina who stumbles into Tiana. Shana is soon shoved forward too, and we all tumble to the ground in a tangled heap. Hey, what's the big idea? Okay. God, Joji is the bad guy. We confirmed this. So long, idiots. Before I can jump up, he slams the door shut, trapping us inside a dark and closed chamber. What is the meaning of this? Let us out, you creep. I can hear a few metal clicks from the other side of the door. Uncle Joji, let us out this instant. I can hear his laughter from the other side of the door. I told you not to get in my way, Shifu. Although I'm sorry, it had to come to this. What do you mean? My boss said I need to get rid of you meddling pests once and for all. What, you're gonna kill us? Who do you work for? He said it's payback for what you did at the church. <laughs> oh god. So, Father Edmund is the, the evil boss? I can't believe we let this jerk trick us. Yeah. I cannot believe this Joji is pretty clever as well. We should never have trusted him. The art museum will close all weekend, I'm afraid. The vault you are in is used for housing art that's not on display. It's a real tragedy, but I suppose that's what happened when Headstrong's teenager tried to break into a museum. You'll never get away with this. Oh, but uh, I've already had <laughs> Uncle Joji. Yeah, pretty funny. Send my regards to your parents, Shifu. Oh my god, my parents will come and haunt you, Joji. I'm sure they can't wait to meet you again. The last thing we can hear is Uncle Joji loud maniac laughter. I can't believe him. That bastard deceivers. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to make him pay for this. There has got to be a way out of this. Okay, let's search. Uh, the wall because maybe there's a secret like button or door or something Shifu I hear Rina's shaky voice from behind me okay now what it's too dark to see anything but I feel her hands nervously reach for mine Shifu I'm scared oh god you're always scared I hear her sniffing and I turn around to face her I can barely make out her face but I can tell she's crying. I should comfort her and let her know she's not alone. Definitely not if I know this will cost me gems, which I don't have. So I'm going to choose um, 
not to comfort her. Uh, make a joke, definitely. Even though it's hard to see, I fumble my way through the darkness until my hands falls onto her shoulder. It's going to be okay, Rina. I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. But, but Shifu! Let's try to find an exit. I know it's dark and the door is locked, but we can't just give up. You don't sound too convinced. Well, there are worse ways to die than by suffocation. Like being eaten by zombies or something. Are you kidding me right now, Shifu? Now isn't time for jokes. I think I made her mad, oh god. I seldom see Rina um, getting mad. Alright, at least it sounds like she stopped crying. Hmm, that is at least the, I mean, the least that I can do. Let's just put our heads together and think of a way out. Rina, don't you have a flashlight on you? Oh, I totally forgot about it. Oh god, this police officer. It's pretty lousy. <laughs> no, I, I can't say it, Rina, because Rina is pretty uh, a cool girl, I think. Jeez, what an airhead. Rina fumbles around for a moment before turning her flashlight on. <laughs> oh god, the, the sound effect, it almost freaks me out. Her light immediately shines on a figure lying motionlessly on the ground beside us. What is that? Is that a dead body? Yuina! Jenna rush over to the young woman lying on the ground. Okay, what is Yuina being here? Yuina, are you okay? Oh, please don't be dead. Nah, I don't think she's dead. Okay, she has opened her eyes. After a moment, Yuina's let out a strained groan. Tiana! Yeah, it's me. Are you alright? What happened? Yuina slowly sits up. And Rina keeps her flashlight focused on her. Joji told me he found something interesting in the basement and led me here. Then he showed me inside. I must have hit my head when I fell. Why would he want to lock you up in here? He must have found out I betrayed him. Betrayed him? What do you mean? Considering the situation, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. Ever since I was a little girl, I have always wanted to be an artist. When I was in college, I won a contest and was recruited to join the guild. That is where I met Joji. He told me he could sell my art and help me make a lot of money for my family. At that time, it seems like the perfect opportunity, but it turns out to be a scam. Joji lied to me. He had me create all these counterfeit paintings and he was selling them to this secret organization. Secret organization? Yeah, uh, yeah, Father Edmund. He's a crook. They disguised themselves as a group for up and coming artists. But in reality, they are just a bunch of criminals. They sell counterfeits painting for ridiculously high prices to rich idiots. I tried to leave when I realized what Georgie was doing with my art. But someone showed up at our house with a gun. They told me if I stopped painting, then tears starts to trickle down Yuina's pale cheek. So I had no choice. I left, I ran away from home and went back to painting for Joji. Why didn't you go to the police? They would have killed you. I ended up moving in with Joji and followed him all over the world to different art shows and exhibits. I kept having to paint all these counterfeits every day. Oh, poor Yuina. We were eventually told to come back to the city, but I had planned my escape for a while. So you tried to get away from my uncle? I thought I could run away, change my identity, but Joji must have found my new passport. He knew I was planning on leaving, but I just couldn't take it anymore. He even had me scout talent artists at the college. So he wanted to have more artists create counterfeit paintings? How awful. They used a community church as one of their stores, but someone burned that to the ground. They are scrambling to replace all the art they have lost back there. Hmm, interesting. It all makes sense now. Yeah, you know, we are the one who burned down the church. <laughs> you didn't want the art club president, Toma, to suffer your fate. Oh, Yuina. I knew you weren't the villain here. 
Tiana throws her arms around her sister's neck, holding her tightly. I'm so sorry, Tiana. I never meant to get you caught up in this mess. All I ever want was for you to be safe. Joji must have sent you the letter to lure you here so he could trap you here with me. Don't worry, we'll teach him a lesson. Wait, the letter was written by Joji? Ah, interesting. I thought the letter was written by Yuna. Okay. Yes, now that we know the truth, we need to go to the police at once. We can't do it from in here. The walls are too thick for my radio. I'm sure we can find a way out. Yuna-san, can we ask you a few questions about the guild? Of course. At this point, I don't think there is any way to escape. Damn. Give me a few minutes with her, Shifu. Alright, take your time. Shana begins to ask Yuna some questions. Tiana give them some space and instead come to stand by me. This is all thanks to you, Shifu. I was able to find out the truth. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, Tiana. Before I can say anything else, she takes a step forward and grabs me by the collar of my shirt. She pulls me towards her roughly, crushing her lips against mine. Whoa, that is too quick, Tiana. Have you got no shame? Um, both of the girls are there, you know, just beside us. Why are you just kissing me? Okay, Tiana is kissing me now. What should I do? Um, back away. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have gems. <laughs> I place my head on Tiana's shoulder and lightly push her off of me. Tiana, what do you think you're doing? Huh? You didn't want me to kiss you? You're crazy. I didn't even send you a signal. I'm sorry, I thought you liked me. I'm um, sorry, Tiana. It's just that um, it's just not the time for it, okay? We'll talk later. I look around at our group. How are we going to get out of this one? 